Hi everyone, this is Trish from Bird Feed. Thanks for joining me today. I've got another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing to share with you. And this is a dinosaur box, but it's not your typical dinosaur box. We often associate dinosaurs with little boys, but little girls like dinosaurs too. And this one is packed for a two to four girl. The outside of the box is decorated with uh, wrapping paper that I found at the Dollar Tree. Isn't it cute? Cute dinosaur paper. And this is a great size box. It's um, not quite 13 inches long. I think it's 12 and 7 eighths is what I measured by 7 and 3 quarters wide. And it's a, a little, not quite as tall as the plastic uh, OCC shoe boxes, so it's very, very close in size. So I was excited that I was able to fit everything that I wanted in this shoe box, including a book. And um, so the inside is decorated, uh, just the lid is decorated with the rest of the dinosaur paper. And this is a sheet out of her coloring book. I hated to cut it out, but on the flip side of this was an army tank. I did cut it out of this coloring book. It's this adorable coloring book other than the army tank. My, my first coloring, I got it from the Dollar Tree. And uh, what I like about it is the simplistic drawings, the images, and the fact that they are outlined in a color suggestion for the child to use to color the animal or uh, figure. And it's got all sorts of cute, cute pictures in it, including dinosaurs. And even one's on a pink, pink page, so I thought that was cute. And here is the page that I cut out. It had that dinosaur that was on the um, lid on the other side across from the brontosaurus, but I, I cut it out because it had that army tank on it. <laughs> There's another page of dinosaurs, and I think I have another one in here, yeah. And another page of dinosaurs. So there were quite a few dinosaurs in here, amongst other things. It's a very, very cute book. So I really like that for this shoe box. And then I included a half sheet of foil dinosaur stickers and a sheet of Sentimals stickers. Those I got for like three cents after Valentine's at Walmart and uh, just some little animals, spring animals stickers and she has a spiral notebook for when she starts school. Her plush is of course a dinosaur. This one is a really soft uh, triceratops and this one is um, one of my favorite uh, plush toy companies, Manhattan Toy Company and it's got beans in the feet. Super, super cute. And this guy was a dollar from a thrift store. I've already cut his tags off, but he is a brand new, unused dinosaur. And then this was donated to me. At first I thought it might be a little bit um, juvenile for a two to four box, but these children have not had toys. M many of them have not ever had a toy and they don't often have television or electricity or anything like that or anything to show them all the toys available to children in commercials. And this is a nice quality, sturdy, uh, Fisher-Price dinosaur on wheels that makes noises. 
So I thought that uh, this little one could enjoy this. I always like to put a wheeled vehicle of some sort in my shoe boxes, uh, in all of them, and this is the one I've chosen for this shoe box. The item that was the catalyst that started this um, dinosaur themed box for a girl was this dinosaur dress. I bought it last December at Old Navy. It was on clearance for $4.49, but of course I used my Gap Rewards for it and I paid nothing. I got this for free. Super cute. It's a 4T and uh, I love that it's the heather gray background. It does have pink and purple in it but also has green and orange. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this dress for her. She has a little bow I recently got for a quarter I believe at Family Dollar when they were on clearance and it has the colors, it's a clip bow, has the colors in her dress. She has a little heart-shaped container with a surprise inside for her, little heart bracelet. She can also wear with her dress. And a slap bracelet that I got from Walmart on clearance and likely paid nine cents for this guy. Super cute and I think it goes well with her dress as well. So she's got two different kinds of bracelets. She has a cup otherwise known as a sippy cup. She can wear, uh, use it with or without this lid on it. And uh, it's decorated with dinosaurs. And this I got from the Dollar Tree and it's in that aqua color that's going on kind of throughout her box here, here and there. Aqua and orange is kind of, kind of the colors in here. I put in a couple of hair elastics four to be exact, I shouldn't say, a couple of pairs, and two more barrettes. The less hair she has, some of these uh, snap barrettes will still um, go onto the child's head, clip in her hair, even with the smallest amount of hair. Probably not this one. That will need a little bit more hair to um, grasp onto because it's probably too heavy, but this is in lavender and matches the lavender dinosaurs in her dress. She's got a pair of white socks and a couple, here's another pair of socks, black with orange and a couple of pairs of underwear. So she's got two, two underwear, two socks. That's what's in her cup. And she has a soap dish also in that kind of minty aqua color with a bar of soap and a green bead necklace. She has a 49 millimeter bouncy ball. These I get from Old Navy in their big gumball type machine that they sell these for a quarter. So she has a ball. She has a pair of leggings to wear underneath her dress if she would like for more privacy. These I got at Walmart for $1 and they match the soft pink dinosaur in her dress. So she's got some leggings. She can also wear these with something else if she prefers. She has a box of jumbo crayons to use with her coloring book. I like the jumbo ones for the toddlers because they're fatter 
for them to grasp more easily. She's got a couple of uh, hair combs, orange toothbrush with a cap. She has an orange pencil case with a big fat jumbo pen decorated with dinosaurs, a glue stick, round tip scissors. She's got several dinosaur erasers, Six pencils, three of them, actually, yeah, three of them with dinosaurs on them. We have dinosaurs riding bicycles and skateboards and and some other different kind of dinosaurs. Three number twos. She's got a multicolored tipped colored pencil and a couple of oh she's got uh, f actually four dinosaur erasers and a marker pink marker and another eraser. She's got lots of erasers and pencils and items for school. She has a kind of a peach colored soft washcloth to go with her soap dish. She has a face mask should she need it in her country. It coordinates with her dress because there's some purple dinosaurs in there. She has some uh, wrist bells in orange. I love including musical instruments in the children's boxes. She has this cute I Love You More Baby Sore board book and I picked this up after Valentine's Day I think at Walmart for 90% off. So this was regularly $8.99 ish I think or eight something. I paid 80 cents for it. Super cute book with adorable illustrations of dinosaurs. Simple words if someone who is reading this is practicing their English or they can just make up a story and enjoy the, the pictures. Super cute book. And she has a puzzle, a dinosaur puzzle. It's still in the um, original plastic bag that it came with and I put the um, box. It's a, a really cute, colorful, 24-piece dinosaur puzzle and this is what it looks like in, in whole, in total. And that I get from the Dollar Tree. So she's got a puzzle. She has also a um, Fisker's enclosed pencil sharpener that didn't fit in her, her pouch so that I could close the box. So I had to put it in here separately. She's got a tote bag in all the colors that are in here, the purple and orange and kind of an aqua color that she can tote all her items home or later on to school. She has one last thing in this here. Is a color reveal, prehistoric creatures from Melissa and Doug that I got for $1 on clearance at Walmart at one point in time. You've put water in this and um, run it across the page and the color comes to life on these pages. And then when they dry, they dry white again and she can use it over and over again. I included the extra coloring book just in case this child does not have access to water to use this. And in that case, she can just color the pages if she would like. So I included that in her shoebox. And her letter from me, 
says beautiful child because I always um, start my letters out with dear beautiful child has a letter and a photo from me and that is the two to four girls dinosaur shoebox. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.